Hey friends, Joe here at Reverb.com checking out the new MS3 from Boss. This thing is a very powerful tool, a multi-effects unit combined with a multi-pedal switcher. I think that out of maybe everything that we've demoed in here, this is probably the, the highest level of functionality that I've seen in a single unit. And it's really impressive how small it actually is as well. So basically you have 111 uh, built-in effects, all your favorite boss effects, as well as great emulations of, of compressors and, and tape delays and everything. And then three pedal loops where you can plug in three separate pedals as well. So grab three of your favorite pedals, plug them in, and then you've got everything else on board already. And the other great thing about the MS3 is you have memory mode and manual mode. Memory mode, uh, build your own patches, combine uh, built-in effects with your own effects, put any effect where you want it in the chain, all that good stuff. And then manual mode, or I like to think of it as stomp box mode, it just works as four different stomp boxes and super intuitive, very easy to use. So you got four switches here to turn on or off effects um, and then plenty more capability. If you have an FS7, plug that in, bank up or down, plug in an expression pedal, uh, control outs, go to separate amps, stereo outs, MIDI capability, intuitive software to even get get more into the thick of this thing. They, they didn't leave anything out here. With a tool this powerful, uh, it's kind of hard for me at least to know like where to start. Um, and I started at kind of the bare bones, uh, the, the, the minimal approach. I built some patches and my first patch, I simply only plugged in the carbon copy through the loop one and that's, that's all that my first patch is. I got here a Stratocaster with a humbucker and the bridge going through a magnetone panoramic stereo. The second patch I built, I called it Crunch Verb. It's just a, uh, a crunch sound uh, built in and combined with a spring reverb. And real quick, just to show you how you kind of do that, if you're in memory mode, which is the blue lights, you've got your patch here, your patch number and name. You enter through edit, okay? This brings you to a pedal chain screen. It lays out which effects in which order you're working with here. The built-in effects are organized in, in six different uh, categories. Mod 1, Mod 2, so all your modulation effects there, your phasers, your flangers, your, your vibes, all that stuff. Effects 1 and Effects 2, uh, overdrives, distortions, compressors, octaves, and then delays and reverbs, okay? So you got Mod 1, Mod 2, Effects 1, Effects 2, delay and reverb. You can take all six of those, you can combine them in any order you want, you can tweak, you know, ultimate tweakability of course, and this lays out your, your signal path. Okay, so right now in this patch, I have effects one on, and then I have a reverb on, okay? So check it out. Hit enter on effects one, and then you have three knobs. So this is my crunch right here, okay? It's an overdrive crunch, and I've got my type of, of overdrive right here. So right now it's on crunch. You got all these options, natural overdrive, warm overdrive, fat distortion, lead distortion, okay? I'm gonna take it back to my crunch. And then you've got your parameters here, drive, level, okay? Same way, let's see what else is in my patch, in my, in my chain here, reverb, hit enter to figure out what it is. I've got a spring reverb, okay? And now, time, pre-delay, level, all of your normal parameters that you're used to. It sounds like a lot, but it really is pretty easy to use. And I, I'm generally not a big fan of, of multi-effects, you know, tools that can do a billion different things, but this was different for me. It was really easy to use, and I would definitely use this. So like I said, I've got a crunch and a spring reverb. Okay, cool. So while we're in this patch, let's let's enter into effects one, and which is my overdrive effect, and let's just blow through some different effects.
Okay, cool. So let's stay on this patch and quickly, let's go to stomp box mode. I'll turn off the distortion via my second button here, okay? Now the distortion is off and just the reverb's on. Now, let's go back into memory mode, okay? Now, as you can see, the distortion is still off. That was the effects one. Now, let's scroll through the chain here over to reverb, and let's go through some different reverbs. Add a chorus, let's go here to mod one. There's where all of our choruses are gonna be. Turn that on there. With the second knob, move that chorus anywhere so I can put that chorus after the reverb or before it. Okay, so let's add the Strymon Deco to the patch. I've got the Strymon going into loop three. So we scroll over here to L3. Uh, it's worth noting also that the only effects that you cannot move in the chain are your loops one, two, and three, okay? So you have to organize those the way that you'd like. L3, I got the deco in. Turn the physical pedal on, and then also turn it on on the screen here. Okay, cool, so now I've got a carbon copy on one. And on two, I've got a built-in spring reverb as well as the deco. Okay, let's take this into stomp box mode and check it out. So now we've got overdrive one going and, and we have an LED, uh, uh, these LED lights here that show us the, the, our whole chain as well, not in the signal chain screen. So we can see here we've got effects one, which is my, which is my overdrive. We've got L3, loop three, which is my Strymon Deco, and then we've got a reverb, and I've got it set to a spring reverb, okay? So I can turn the overdrive off, overdrive back on. I got a flanger on mod one right now. I can put that in there. Flange rod, put a phaser in, which is on mod two. Also in stop box mode, your, your three knobs correspond to uh, patch. BPM, if you have a delay in there um, or other time effect, and that's gonna affect uh, the rate of your time effect, and then the third is uh, patch level knob. So this is kind of like a kind of like a master volume for the for the specific patch. Also helps you match unity gain with your amp. You can bypass the whole pedal, holding this for two seconds, mutes the signal, and gives you a tuner, a damn fine tuner. Another great thing about the MS3, the overdrive pedals that you love that you don't want to get rid of. Plug them into the loop and then combine it with a delay that's already in there or, or any other time effect and you've got, you've got your own sound. And I'm the same way. I, I love this Chase Bliss uh, Audio Brothers. So I've got that in. I've combined it with a delay here. It 
So that's kind of the, the simple approach way to, to using this switcher. Um, I definitely encourage you to check out the Reverb site or the Boss site uh, for the full list of effects and, and, and other features. Um, but yeah, let's get back to it and just go through some other effects and see what those sound like. Thank you. 